everyone and welcome to this festive YouTube video where we'll be diving into the wonderful world of Christmas decorations. I am thrilled to be your friendly helper today as we embark on a fun and creative journey to deck the halls for the upcoming holiday season. Get ready to immerse yourself in the magic of Christmas as we explore various decorating ideas that will make your home truly shine with holiday cheer. So grab a cup of hot cocoa or coffee or whatever you drink, cozy up, and let's get started on this merry adventure together of Decorate With Me For Christmas. Together, we'll make your home a winter wonderland that'll impress Santa himself. So let the festive fun begin. So we are starting off our day in our great room. This is the biggest tree that we put up. I will put up three, four trees in our home. We have one in our great room, one in our kitchen, one in Annie's room. She's my three-year-old that you'll see in the corner and turning on and off the lights. And then we also have a tree in mine and my husband's bedroom. So this is the big event tree. So it is a nine foot tall tree and it goes really high. So a ladder is really involved. This year we're doing something a little different. We're actually changing the location. As Annie is getting older, we need a lot more space for her and all of her gifts from Santa and from Tyler and I. So we've changed the location over by the window. I'm already loving the location, but we don't have presents around it quite yet. But I love that it's up against the window this year and last year it wasn't. It was kind of in the middle of our great room. So I'm gonna love the twinkling lights that our neighbors can see from the backyard and that we can see when we're playing. So it's gonna be really, really nice to kind of get that Christmas feel from outside of the house. Another thing that we're doing differently this year is Annie has chosen to go with an angel on top of the Christmas tree. So this year's theme in the great room is going to be a starry night, something to go along with the real reason for Christmas and that is Jesus. So she has chosen to go with an angel on top. She picked that angel out from Amazon and I will have the link in the description in case you wanted that one as well. One of your top priorities when decorating for Christmas. If you're going to be putting anything on your walls, stockings, garland, etc., you need to stick those command strips on and let them simmer on the walls. I don't know what it is about command strips. They cannot just be put up and then you put something directly on top of it. You've got to let it just simmer a little bit. So I went ahead and put my command strips on the wall so they can be prepared for our stockings. Um, I have garland that I'll be putting up around the house. So make sure to do that. The past couple of years, we've had a candy cane theme in our living room, but I am bringing out our Starry Night, like I've already mentioned. So I've had all of our decorations stored in these tubs, and they are pretty organized. So I've got a lot of my fillers in one, my big Christmas balls in some, my ribbons, my stockings, etc. So if you are going in between different types of themes and decorations. Make sure that you're storing them really, really well so they're not gonna get damaged. We actually store our all of our Christmas stuff in a storage unit down the road. So it has been very, very helpful to keep everything organized and in a tote. Highly recommend keeping them in totes versus Christmas bags. We will keep our Christmas balls and our Christmas trees in bags and those have always turned out fine. A couple of my top tips for putting up your Christmas tree is make sure at the beginning when you're putting your Christmas tree out that you are flocking it. Do every branch, spend the time to do it because then the next tip is gonna be for your ribbon. You've got to spend some time with your ribbon. So I will start at the very top and I like how it looks when it's going in and out of the tree. So adjust your ribbon to where it's pinched and then pinch a piece of the branch around it so it'll keep it right in place.
When I'm actually placing ornaments on the tree, I always like to start with my biggest pieces first. So I started with my biggest balls, tried to put different colors and different finishes all over the tree so they're not all together. And then I put in my other big pieces, such as my fillers. So I've got the different colors of poinsettias. I've got a white and a taupe, as you see right there. And then I'll add additional fillers throughout and I'll kind of work my way through to my smallest pieces. So you wanna start at your biggest and you wanna go to your smallest ornaments to fill in. While we continue on our wonderful journey of Christmas decorating, I wanted to take a moment to thank you all for joining me today. If you're enjoying the ideas we're exploring together, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing to my channel, you'll never miss out on my upcoming videos filled with inspiration, DIY projects, and more festive fun. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and let's keep spreading the joy and creativity of Christmas. And thank you so much for your support, and let's continue with our Decorate With Me for Christmas adventure. Back to those command strips. We've let them simmer a little bit. Now we can put our stockings on. And another really good reason to keep those command strips is it's going to get heavier over time. Here in the foyer, I wanted to go with a very, very neutral and evergreen feel. So I did not put any color in our foyer because of the great room tree that you see that's got the blues. And then in another video, you'll see how I decorated my kitchen, but it's definitely, definitely not blue. So I felt that the foyer being very neutral and very evergreen, it would fit really, really great. If you didn't know yet, we are huge Disney lovers. So the Magic Candle Company, we love them. This is one of their scents that I'm gonna put in my wax warmer. I've got a couple other scents that I absolutely love. It makes me feel like I am back at Disney World. So highly recommend them. They have amazing scents.
We unfortunately do not have a fireplace. I would love to have a fireplace one day. So I'm always trying to trim in with garland so I can hang my stockings. So that is my idea of hanging stockings. Since we don't have a fireplace, just something cute. Thank you so much for joining me in this festive decorating adventure. I hope you enjoyed all the tips, tricks, and ideas that I shared with you. As you embark on your own Christmas decoration journey, remember to let your creativity shine and make your space truly magical. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more festive content. I'd also love to hear how you plan to decorate your home for Christmas, so share your ideas, favorite ornaments, or any special traditions you have in the comments below. Let's spread the holiday spirit together. From my home to yours, I'm wishing you a joyful, cozy, and blessed holiday season filled with love, laughter, and beautiful decorations. So Merry Christmas, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.